last time on Gothic Games. There goes that person. That's what you get, thief person. Ha! Ah, ah, ha! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! No! I'll die from it! I died. Meanwhile... So, deep apologies for not being around the last few weeks. Um... When it rains, it pours out here, and, uh... We've been dealing with a lot of pouring lately. Um... That family Christmas party that I mentioned in the last episode wound up being... It, it, it was a lot of fun, but uh, it was also um, the death of my car. At least as far as we can tell at the current moment, it'll take $500 to fix my Jeep because the transfer case exploded, literally exploded underneath my butt. <clears throat> about the time we hit Fort Collins. So we've been dealing with that and we've also been dealing with the issues that have come from um, living here on housing in public housing under here in Cheyenne. Um, so we've had some surprise inspections and they keep finding new things that are wrong even though we are up in the air right now on whether or not we passed or not and uh it's, it's just been very confusing and we don't know what's going on and um the day i'm recording this episode the day after i record this episode we are actually going to be um having a, an interview to see if our assistance will even continue so uh fingers crossed for us guys because this is this is scary and this is stressful and on top of that we are in the process of getting rid of bed bugs i think we've mostly gotten rid of them and it's uh <laughs> that's been a stressful con or a stressful thing to deal with because we've been doing it mostly ourselves and it turns out that we weren't supposed to so, <laughs> we've been trying to figure out what to do with the cats so that they're not here when the inspect or when the bug uh, guys are here because we don't want them getting hit by the pesticides. And it's it's been I haven't had the spoons to record these days, or at least not lately. And if you are confused as to the terminology that I am using, there is a little something called spoon theory that comes to deal with people with disabilities. Yes, I am disabled. I have fibromyalgia on top of a number of mental conditions. Which most of you at this point know. Um, this is a, turning into a really long cold opening. Larry, run the intro real quick. Thanks, Larry. <laughs> Don't electric me cute me. Um but yeah, like I was saying, I'm disabled. And we've been dealing with a lot that has been bleeding my spoons. And what I mean by that is uh spoons is a way of judging a how much effort and how much energy that you have throughout the day. Where you can pick up every spoon in, in the diner and hold it and um, certain actions you take throughout the day, normal things like getting getting dressed, taking showers and stuff, they, those take spoons away from the overall, great, from the overall um, scope of the whole thing. And uh, there are a lot of times where a few hours into the day, I will be out of spoons because I've already done too much more than I can really handle in the day and um, because we're not making this a career anymore this is 100% uh, hobby now doing this for fun not because we get paid for it I don't think we ever really did but you know <laughs> anyways um, I've been yeah I've been bleeding spoons because we've had to do we've had to deal with these issues that have been going on we haven't had an option because we're not gonna lose you know the place that we live in so 
that's been and we've been doing that all without a car we've been having to to uh, plan rides and it has not been a good experience it has been far from a good experience oh my goodness gravy golly gee willikers don't tease me bro uh, I died again I don't like this level already Ugh. But yeah, that's that's been that's been my last couple weeks since since you last saw me. Uh, it's been pretty much a living hell. But on the plus side, um, I did get my new PC up and running. That's always fun, and uh, I'm actually recording on it right now. Probably don't know, can't hear it, but yeah, I've got my PC set up in the living room. And I'm recording on the PlayStation the 4. <laughs> yeah, PlayStation Live 4. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to make a, a, a little graphic for that. Larry, put it up if I... <laughs> PlayStation Live 4. Or I could call it The Forge. Put a, put a little visor, Star Trek visor on it. Which is actually a headband. For hair! Yeah. Surprise! Surprising things you learn throughout you, the uh, random knowledge is hey. What does that even mean, Sam? <laughs> Watch out, Spyro! The Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity. Oh, the power of electricity! You must be Cajun. I think that's what the accent is. Poof. Anyways, that, that's pretty much the, everything I had to talk about was you know, the bullshit we've been going through. Um, what are these? Oh, it must be like some sort of supercharge thing. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, that's why we haven't been posting and especially why Liz and I haven't you know, made any strides towards getting serious gaming back on the channel. We want to, oh boy and how do we want to, but uh, until we are a little bit more stable of the mind, it's probably not going to be a thing for a while. Uh, I can, you know, I can jump on and do this the, all the live long day, but this takes more spoons to do for Liz than it does for me. Th this is fun for me. And it can be fun for Liz, but for the most part, it's something she needs to plan for. Otherwise, she just straight up can't do it. Ugh. Don't hit me! Damn you! <laughs> okay. I'm not sure how long my, my, my intro rant was going on for. Apparently almost six minutes. Oh boy. Wait. Oh, right. Checkpoints. <laughs> Unlocking the dragons. Unleashing the dragons. Why did I not fly? <laughs> I was a dumb. Don't dumb. Duh, huh? You're dumb. Why? Why do they dumb? Hello. I need to line these douche baggies up. Bonk, bonk. Ooh, don't. Yeah, la 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 yourself to death. Okay, line up this dude. I've also decided to stop having a hand in um, looking up trends to talk about because uh, that's gotten me in trouble a few times. <laughs> so I really like I, the the juniper latte thing was interesting, if not weird but 
Oh, the whole Kevin Hart thing. Good mm. job, Spyro. Just, some things I don't properly do my research on and because I just looked them up before I... So, I, I wanted to try and make the show a little bit more you know, trend-oriented and something that people can relate to, but I guess that's a very small window of people because very, uh, not a lot of people can relate to I guess I don't know I'm I'm, I'm I'm poor I'm not capable of really working I mostly get by doing my artwork that's why I kind of you know advertise it on the channel not to mention you know I actually do artwork for the channel which is another way I advertise but that's free work you know it's not it advertises, but it doesn't bring in a lot of revenue. And I love my job, don't get me wrong. I do adore being able to do artwork for money. That's been... Oh, boy and howdy has it been. Uh, it's been great. But... I don't know. Not a lot of people can relate to it. A lot of people can relate to being poor. Uh, as terrible as that may be. Um, but it's uh, poor. What's poor here isn't exactly poor in other countries either. And so I, I, I guess for the most part, I come off as whining about my situation when really I don't have a lot to whine about. I have a lot to complain about, yes, there's there's a lot of things that happen in my life that aren't exactly fair, but that's life, isn't it? <laughs> life isn't exactly meant to be fair, it's not, it's just meant to be lived. Save me, please, thank you. Um, so you gotta learn to take the, the good with the bad and there has been there has been good like I said is I I've been going through hell this these last few weeks but on the to on the plus side I got a freaking awesome new rig you know I got a new thing I can record on I've gotten excuse me with the sniffling I've gotten new things that I got new games I got Liz new games so, I mean, yeah, like I was saying, people... Uh, come on, you can make that jump, Sam. Uh, I, I, I looked up trends to try and be more relatable to a newer audience, but honestly, the more I thought about it, the more I realized I'm relatable to my daughter. She's in the next generation. She watches these videos. She thinks that what I do is great. She really hates that I question myself on all of it. I mean, it's just... Why was I trying to look up trends that honestly were not my forte in an attempt to impress people? I mean... I got I amassed how many? and 195 followers all on my own? without having to look up trends just by talking into a microphone. So, it's, I questioned myself there when I made a, when I started making this comeback, and especially on the Spyro videos, I wanted to try it on, see if it worked. It didn't work. Uh, <laughs> so instead, I'm going to go back to the stream of consciousness style that I've been doing for years, that has never really betrayed me so far. Boop. I mean, trying to have some semblance of an idea of what I'm talking about seems to always backfire on me. <laughs> There's never enough time. Really? What am I missing? I've got two dragons. I'm missing a bunch of coins. Okay. Yeah, that that's enough for me. Oh, these guys are back. Yeah, but they only give me like extra lives and stuff. Who needs that? No, 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 don't do it. Uh. 
Yeah. No. <laughs> wow, that was that was that was legit. No. Oh god, it scared me. Pull uh, Not in front of the kids. Uh. What is this misty fog? Okay. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not doing a lot, a lot in the way of commentary. I got most of my my lip flapping done in the beginning of the episode. If you didn't notice. So, um, thinking of topics to talk about is kind of one of those. Okay, I've pretty much aired my dirty laundry and even presented the new addition to the Electronica family in the immediate area. <laughs> Electronica family? Boop. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah... The PC's great. I got Xenoverse 2. I've been playing it. Uh, I actually beat it earlier today. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. What are you wiggling for? Who knows? Can I make this? Probably. Let's uh, find out. Is that alive? <gasps> Neat. I got a living. Don't you dares. <laughs> freaking frogs sticking out their freaking tongues at me. Tongue guns. Look at these tongues. <laughs> ah, look at these tongues indeed. That tongue is hench. <laughs> Holy neat! Okay, Roscoe, what's up? Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They are cold-blooded killers. Really? Attack frogs? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, look at them tongues. Them, them tongues have guns. It's not a. It's it's, it's not. It's it's totally weird. And now in my head, I have the image of one of those tongues flexing with muscles. Why, Sam? Why do you do this to yourself? I don't know, but that one needs to die. They do. Boop. I mean, not because they're ugly or nothing. I don't agree with the dragon's part in that. <laughs> oh boy! Ow! Did that just... Did he just... That douchebag. <laughs> <clears throat> he just knifed me in the frickin' forehead. What if that stuck, man? <laughs> How would you feel then? Probably bad. Either that or he wouldn't feel anything. Because these things are dying without really feeling much. Poof. Yeah, doof. It looked doofy. Ah! Ah! Come on! You can game, Sam! Do the game thing! Woo! Boy! Ah! Their tongues! Their tongues! <laughs> T U N G S tongues! <laughs> Boop, boop, kerbooping. Uh, kerboopity. Eh, huh. And that leaves you wide open. Uh, line up for me, please. That's that's perfect. Thank you very much. 
there's one in between these guys. Eh. I need that Durgan. Don't be a douche. Ha! <laughs> Read the room! <laughs> you better appreciate it, Damon. I lost my dragonfly because of Thanks you. For releasing me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. Oh, no. Really? Why? I remember. Uh, uh, gotta go. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm a douchebag, too. <laughs> The hero of the story, everybody. Won't even spend time listening to an old man's stories. Where am I going? <laughs> Not that direction. Okay. Sweet. I think I need to go here. That is... Whoa! What the... Gave you the right. <laughs> the hell was that? <laughs> I did the glide thing. I pushed the buttons in the proper order. I even gave them the proper freaking. Uh, he, see, that's exactly what I did. <laughs> Why did it not work last time? That's not fair. <laughs> Okay, go get these two douchebags. Pumba! <laughs> Hunting game too big for your ass. It is not a good plan. Plan is not good. Be me, thank you. Okay, that is one big fairy right there. Hup. Hup. And, um, hup. Did I do? Am I supposed to? How do, how does one get over there? Somehow I feel like I need to backtrack. Screw it. <laughs> I'm in a place. Let's do it. Let us do. They're killing me. Killing me softly with their songs. They're not even singing. <laughs> that nice timely reference there, Sam. People are totally going to know what that song is. <laughs> Killing them softly with this song. Telling my whole life with his words. Yeah. It's a song. I don't remember who did it. Thank you for so I'm not really going to say who did it. Larry, go ahead and, and, and put credit where credit is due. You know where you you know the timestamps and everything. You know where to put these things. Whoa! Whoa! Pumba, Pumba, chill, 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 chillax, dude. <laughs> the hell was that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know. That was, that was really anxious. That made me very anxious. Hi, Pumba. There are a lot of Pumbas. Yes, even I even called them Pumbas when I was a kid because I I didn't really understand that Pumba was not the name of the uh, species of animal, just the name of that one specific animal. So I called them Pumbas until someone set me straight and was like, "No, they're they're warthogs, dude. They say it in the movie." Oh, <laughs> okay. Disney and their tropes. Couldn't blame them. Ah ha. Ah. Where is my dragonfly? <laughs> sparks! Hello! Can I have my sparks, please? He picks up my gems. <laughs> I'm taking too long picking up gems now. <laughs> I 
Hey. Is that it, really? I somehow highly doubt that. But I'll need some kind of like uber super glide or something. I'll tell you what to do with those creatures. Smash them, Spyro. Stamp them out and squish them and squash them. <laughs> <laughs> How about charge them and flame them? We are dragons after all. Ding! Good job, Spyro. That that's a way of using your dragon head. Your horns. Wait, wait a wait a brain. Spyro. Good job. <laughs> I swear there's more to this level. There needs to be more to this level. I saw an entire section of the map. You can't lie to me, there's more to this level. But there's like no way of getting over there. I don't even do I even have all the I got all the dragons. I guess that's the important bit. <laughs> oh, but by the look of things, I'm gonna need to end this here. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell. <sighs> if there's another game you want to see us play here, or us on Serious Gaming, let me know. We might actually get to it. And let me know if I'm doing anything wrong, obviously. It's something I'm capable of doing, and as always, stay classy, guys, and keep playing those games. Actually, I'm afraid of heights. Wait, heights? How is that possible? You, you fly, fly all, all the, the time. time, everywhere. Fidget's afraid of heights. I must have forgotten. Just like you must have forgotten that I can still fall at any time. Never looked at it that way. You're an interesting one, Fidget. Hi, Cletus. You're in after credit scene. I hope that's okay. Spyro, it's great to see you, but I gotta go. Oh, perfect size for an after credit scene. Thanks, Cletus.